Hi, this is Brantley with Foolish IT, and we're back with another Crypto Prevent quick tip. So if you've ever experienced uh, getting this message where a restricted program has been blocked, and it shows the timedate.cpl, and that's after you try to right-click the uh, date time in the system tray, and then say adjust date time, you end up getting that message there, and that is controlled by the Crypto Prevent filter module, which is under protection settings, prevent file types, and on the default and higher plan, .cpl files are always prevented. And if you want to be able to right click and adjust the date time, you would want to move this down to prevent suspicious file types, .cpl files, and that will apply some logic to launching CPL files but may leave you a little bit more vulnerable because third-party app makers can make uh, CPL files and there's even been a recent attack where Windows App Locker, the evolution of software restriction policies, has been bypassed by simple CPL files. So if you want to stay protected from that, we would recommend staying on your always prevent file types as the default and higher plans recommend and if you want to adjust your date time you can always go to your control panel through the start menu control panel and then date and time here as you can see it launches that way uh, CPL files are basically a legacy way of creating control panel applets that allows Windows and third-party applications to make their own but it also allows malware writers and people with malicious intents to be able to write their own and run them that way. So, hope that has helped explain that a little bit. And again, you can move down to prevent suspicious file types, and that will allow you to right click if you absolutely have to go that route. But we probably wouldn't recommend it because of the inherent dangers that are in CPL files and Windows itself doesn't really use it except for that one exception and I am not sure why they do that even on Windows 10 it's the same way so thanks everyone for watching and hope you stay safe out there